Hello and welcome to today's Ninja Trader Ecosystem event, How to Trade Liquidity and Supply Demand. And my name is Thomas and I'm a platform representative here at NinjaTrader. Now, before we start the webinar, I have a few housekeeping notes. Now, this webinar is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Brokerage-related questions should be directed to the NinjaTrader broker sheet using the phone number or email on your screen. And if you are new to NinjaTrader, please make sure you sign up for a free NinjaTrader account, which includes access to 14 days of complimentary real-time market data. Our platform is always free for advanced charting, strategy back testing, and trade simulation. To get, you can create your free account by following the link on the screen and clicking the Get Started under the Welcome section. And before I turn over the mic to Rob, it is important to understand that futures Foreign currency and options trading contains substantial risk and is not suitable for every investor. It is possible to lose all or more than one's initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And please remember that these trading lists sessions are not a solicitation or recommendation, but simply educational in nature. Now, thank you again for joining us today. Without further ado, it's my pleasure to welcome Rob into the NinjaTrader webinar room. Thank you, Thomas, for the great introduction, and thank you for the NinjaTrader for the opportunity. Basically, global, uh, we, this is not a first webinar, but for me, this is the first presentation um, as a presenter from my side, um, but I did cover this particular webinar's um, same strategies and techniques, everything before for a different audience. So I'm excited to share what we have been trading, what we have been developed um, today in terms of uh, as a strategy in general. Before we get started, um, I just wanted to cover the same um, risk disclosure that uh, Thomas talked about. Please understand trading is risky. Do not trade anything above that you can afford to lose. Um, I would recommend definitely go through CFTC rule 4.14 in detail to understand the risk and then what and what not you can do in the trading. Also, please understand the presentation today is intended for only educational purposes, not to sell anything, any securities or any other financial product. If you, if you want to know a detailed disclaimer, please visit bicycleglobal.com slash disclaimer where we have more information. During the presentation, if you have any questions, you can always enter your questions on the chat window. I'll be trying to answer while it's going on. If not, I'll try to answer it in, in the end. But if you have anything that you wanted to get a clarification or reach out to us, please reach us at um, email info at bicycleglobal.com and here's the phone number. We have very short time. I have a lot to cover. So I will... Um, Initial slides, I would I like to little go a little bit faster, but if you guys need any clarity, please stop me. The reason is that I'm going to cover two different parts. One, I'm going to talk about the supply and demand in general. Most of the traders already know in terms of um, supply and demand, but still I need to cover the basics. The reason is that the important section that I'm going to talk about how to uh, trade with supply and demand with the liquidity and other confluent systems, you need to understand certain few basics on supply and demand trading, how it works, what it is, and what are the strategies around it. So even though if you know supply and demand, please be patient uh, while I'm walking through. But when we get to it, I'm going to talk about the importance of the liquidity. Uh, that took particularly the expected versus real um, and also, I'm going to share the confluence where you can use with supply and demand and also liquidity together to make some trading decisions. Um, I have some charts, everything in place in the slides that will be after the supply and demand high level. And also, if time permits, I would like to go through a little bit most important, uh, second important topic, actually, risk-based trade entry. Um, and then, of course, we are going to finish with uh, offer special offer for the attendees today because you guys are taking time in your busy schedule joining us. Anyway, let's get started. 
before it started, I would like to um, we would like to offer as a beer by say global yeah price chart and indicator uh, indicator for all the attendees free access for one year. All you had to do is like uh, go to buysayglobal.com slash chart pattern. You will get the chart pattern indicator which tried, which identifies how to detect and mark all possible uh, chart patterns on a given chart. So that not only that, it will give you the alerts, sound alerts, uh, markers, everything. So you can download. The link is not anywhere. I would rather... Um, Take your phone, take a picture by say global.com slash chat pattern. All right. Okay. So before we get into supply and demand, before anybody trading anything, even indicators, first thing first, we need to start with understanding the market structure. Most of the traders don't have the understanding of market structure in general, how the market moves, how the market is being uh, price fluctuations they straight away started trading, looking in terms of indicators, dead setups, everything. But trust me, if you try to understand the how in market in general, how it operates, how the auction pricing auction process works, everything, you'll be able to understand the price movements in every single market. A little bit much more clarity. So when we talk about the understanding in structure, very high level, at least you need to know what is a demand zone, what is a supply zone, and then what is accumulation zone, distribution, those things. Market will never move in a straight line. That means market shift between the different structures. What do I mean by that? Anytime you see a consolidation happens, um, either it will be distribution or accumulation. Once the price moves away, let's say the price is going up, that means going up from the accumulation, that's what we call it as trending up. Eventually, even the trending market doesn't matter. It's like a, a news based or a, any kind of uh, government uh, news based market will not go in a straight line. Always takes a small or extended consolidations. I'm talking consolidation in terms of both accumulation and distribution, both, right? So there is a book in detail. Um, I think it's a Richard Wyckoff he explains this much, much more clarity on this one. So let's understand a little bit about supply and dem uh, demand zones. A price range where there's a lot of selling interest. Every time the price comes to the particular uh, price range, I won't say price. A lot of traders use the exact lines to trade the mark the supply level or demand level. But we always recommend price range. That's what we call it as zone. Every time the price goes to a particular zone, the sellers stepping in, pushing the price down or holding the price on the particular range. That's the that particular zone we call it as supply zone. In this picture, you can see uh, the highlighted the range of price. Every time the price goes up, either the price held for a long time or pushing it down. Best example for supply zone. Let me talk about same thing, exactly opposite for the demand zone. Every time the price goes down, where a particular range of price the buyers are interested in, they're stepping in every time the price comes to the particular range. Right here, anytime the price comes here, it's holding the price and also it's pushing back up. The, the supply and demand zones always keep shifting. That's why I talked about market structure. Market always moves and being controlled in the, in the ranges. On a given day or a given range of period, you can always see the shift in the market, but always you'll find the top supply and the bottom demand zone. The fundamental strategy depends upon how well you are identifying those supply and demand zones. And then in terms of once you mark down, you need to have uh, what are the ways you can trade. Because don't forget, day trading is all about trying to find a pattern of based on the past historical data and then hoping it's going to repeat exact same way so that we can trade around it. That's the whole idea behind the day trading. Why is supply and demand zone uh, matters? Because this is not something we introduced now, right? People uh, been trading almost like 50, 60 years, but still effective because it's been reliable and repeatable behavior 
are on the market for any instrument, futures, stocks, options, everything, market moves in the same way. That's why not only day traders, also the swing traders, also long-term investing traders use supply and demand. Once you understand um, the foundation and the market structure, supply and demand, you can, you'll be able to at least start with the day trading, swing trading, in, in, long-term investing. Okay. One of the, there's a lot of ways you can trade supply and demand, but if you need to one, learn only one strategy, I would always recommend learning the swap, the zone swap. Like I mentioned, market always stays within the range of price, top supply, also called as resistance, bottom demand, also called as support. Anytime the price breaks out and then come back and then uh, retouches to create a, another bias range on the same exact price range, that is when we call, that's what we call it as supply becomes demand. Now that is the new support baseline for the um, pricing. That means we can go long from that point every time the price comes in. So if you want to go by, here are some high level rule book in terms of look for in terms of um, clear consolidation range. Find the consolidation range or wait for a consolidation range. Sometimes even if you can't find the consolidation range, look for a strong supply or a strong demand and then wait till the breakout from the particular um, strongest supply or strongest demand. Once it's, it's breakout, that's when you have the opportunity to trade. But sometimes understand that there's always a false breakout. I'm going to talk about that right after the supply and demand overview because that's very important in terms of um, liquidity and then the market or order flow. So once you know it's breakout, know your stop loss level, and then apply, you can apply your trade management. This is very, very high level. But let's go back to the same uh, market structure. Here in this case, um, we have consolidation, price breaks out, and then this is the opportunity for long, but we don't know the exact, exact price point you can enter. You don't know exactly the what is the exact stop loss you can enter. That was the challenge in terms of the trading in the supply and demand. Okay. This breakout strategies, wait for the consolidation and do for the breakout. I think you can find one particular trader even back in 1960s. He wrote this book. If you can find the book, I would recommend it because this guy used this just one strategy almost like a not, not in futures. Um, in fact, he used in stocks. This book talks about how he um, devised that, uh, tested, back tested those strategies, how he used it, and then how he made his uh, returns on the during in 1960s. It's a very, really fascinating book where during that time, think about it, there is no ninja data charts, data stream, everything, the technology that we have. He used regular Chart, not even a chart, just a, not even Excel. I think I don't know how he exactly did it, but he used exact strategy of price consolidation, wait for the consolidation, wait for the breakout, and then enter and then stay with the trend wherever it goes. It's a long book, but it's worth reading for sure because that strategy still applies even today and used by so many traders. Okay. Just to give you a little bit of um, idea how um, you can see in the chart, I have um, a daily chart here. I'm, by looking at naked eye, sometimes it can miss it out, but let me try to explain a little bit um, step by step. Here is the whole consolidation I'm talking about, the whole consolidation that Davis used. Davis is not a day trader, right? Davis is at the time, he's a um, swing trader. He looked for consolidation along the day's range. That's why I had the daily chart up. I'm trying to explain how um, this particular guy did it. So looking at the um, chart, he looks for the consolidation and then he tried to wait for the breakout. How he does it? You need to know, first of all, how to find the boundaries. What is the top boundary, top edge and bottom edge? So that you know what is the, once you know the edges, you will know in terms of, okay, this is a consolidation range. I need to wait for the breakout. 
the problem is sometimes there will be a fake breakout or false breakout. At that time, you need to know whether it's really a breakout for a trade or is it like a just a box is expanding a little bit down. The way we do it in terms of um, if the demand is broken, the opposite supply is not formed, just expansion. Let me explain that a little bit. In this case, we can see the demand at the bottom, supply at the top, the price break down, but if you wait for some more time, the price goes back in. That means demand is shifted, the new demand is formed. So then what is really the breakout? The demand is broken, the opposite. Now the, no, now the supply is forming at the same price. Range. This is the true breakout. So those are things you can apply the indicators and find those things. But strategy is once it's broken on the demand zone, that means buyer zone, it should be replaced with the seller zone, that means supply zone. Then, then only it's a true um, to break, to trade. Let's look at the chart right here. Let's say we are going to draw the box here because the price is consolidating here. What will happen? Price broke out. But since the demand broken and the demand is formed, you are supposed to extend your um, consolidation range. Again, it's broken here, right? So that means you need to expand, expand it here. If you keep on expanding it, and the top supply is broken and then now the same price range the demand is from this is the true opportunity right the exact opposite if you are breaking the demand the supply need to form if you're breaking the supply the demand need to be formed that's what we call it as break and swap uh, strategy okay so this is the screenshot we saw before when the supply broken we need to see the demand on the same price range then only it's a good trade here is um, the same chart. Supply is here, broken, and the demand is formed. Then it's a good opportunity to trade. Okay. All right. So I want to talk about one more thing. Sometimes it's very hard to um, find the clear breakouts in the time-based charts because of the volatility or the price ranges. The same chart I have here on a time-based chart where you can you cannot see the. Um, the consolidation and breakout clearly, but we developed something called pro bars. That means that is purely based on converting the volatile market into the um, range bound market. So this is exact same day, same chart. Let me go back again. You can see exact this, this particular region, exact same day, same chart. If we use the, the BSG pro bars, like instead of time-based chart, this is purely the price-based chart. Now, it's some it's, it's getting really easy to see your consolidation. Very high level, if you can't see anything here, if you can look here in terms of market was consolidating, and not only that, you see the supply, supply was here broken, demand is formed, I have actually highlighted here. Look at this one. When the supply was stronger, shifted, it's a fake breakout, the supply becomes demand, this is opportunity, and then the concert price consolidated for almost hours, and finally broke out, supply becomes demand. This is another true breakout. That's why it always helps us in terms of finding the, this is not a, I think somebody asked the question, is it a Renko bus? It's not Renko bus. This is something um, we created on our own. We call it as pro bars. This particular bar is uh, Every instrument, we know what is a volatility range or like a true value range, whatever you call it. We set that bar as um, uh, bar height as the particular volatility range and then let it go. Um, you can see a little bit much more clarity. Okay, so. All right, so this is the important part. So uh, until now, I'm, I am I talked about only everybody knows in terms of what is supply and demand, everything. Here, let's talk about what you've been missing. If you're a supply and demand trader, why sometimes supply and demand don't work? The reason is, when I say supply, what does it mean? Supply means there's a stronger selling interest. Demand means there's a stronger buying interest. But how do you know that's really buying interest in the particular exact price ranges? There's, just because there's a, a swing, hot swings, um, that's how the supply demand works but 
what is the best way to find out there's a really uh, better way to confirm there are really the sellers or buyers? That's when you need to use in terms of liquidity. Okay. When, when I say liquidity, how many of you have access to level two quotes from um, Ninja Trader? The reason is that almost all retail traders trade only based on charts. They look at the patterns, they look at the um, in indicators, but institutions, their primary way to enter is looking at the order flows, where if they are going for a long, they need to wait for, in terms of supporting, order flow supporting the buy, buying interest. That's why we say, do not trade based on the expected liquidity. When I say expected, what do you mean? Just because there's supply zone, don't think sellers are waiting so that like it's gonna go down for sure. Right, so there's no certainty in, the, in, in trading at all. That's why we covered the disclaimer. There is no certainty, everything. But what can you find in the data that there's at least some kind of confluence, there's a seller sitting right there. So for that, you need to use order flow, uh, particularly the level two quotes data, okay? So again, like I said, institution high frequency algorithms are designed to create liquidity and hunt liquidity, okay? Also, um, there is a difference between active and passive. Active means every market order is active order flow. Anytime you, you enter the trade, you have the stop loss, right? You have the targets. That is not active, but that's passive. Price will be, the, uh, that, that particular order will become market order only the price goes there. But there is a stop order waiting at that particular price point. Market always tend towards liquidity. Right? Doesn't matter you are a supply demand trader or ICT traders or price action traders, doesn't matter. You need to understand how to use order flow, active order flow, passive order flow. I think you cannot see active because act, you can see active only after the only after the order flow is formed. But you can see the passive order flow. What do I mean by that? Let's look at right here. Okay, I'll come to the slide a little bit after. So but how many of you seen this super DOM, the level two quotes, streaming quotes uh, in Ninja Trader? Sometimes you might have access to only la level one data, just uh, um, historical pricing as well as bid and ask. This is the book in terms of any time you can open the, if you have access to level two quotes, you can see the current ask stacked up, current bid stacks up. In this case, this is yellow, is the current price. But can you see that this is ES, ES from last week. If you look at if you look at the order flow, pending order flow, you can see the high level liquidity, 435, 231, and the 272, the higher liquidity, that means this is the actual liquidity sitting in the market, uh, market tends to go towards. So that's why we created basic liquidity zones to add a confluence to supply and demand trading. So let's say a supply and demand trading says uh, there, is a, there is a supply zone, but how can we make sure there's really a sub sellers are waiting? The, by looking at this DOM, it cannot make any sense sometimes because it moves really, really fast. Numbers and keep on streaming every single microsecond. So, but if you convert the information into a chart where you can see where you can see in terms of 5 to 30, 5 to 30, we are converting um, the liquidity into visual visual format, okay? So not only that, the contrast, if it is dark red, that means higher liquidity. Light red means it's less liquidity. So if we developed as a confluence from the order flow, now let's see, when I say expected liquidity, we are drawing this supply and demand. This is from our product. So we'll come to that a little bit later, but anytime there, but if you compare, the expected liquidity based on supply and demand with this is actual liquidity. What is happening or pending orders on level two quotes, you can see in terms of if it is matching, that's the best confluence that you can take a trade on. But one thing I will tell you in terms of, you need to learn three important topics, liquidity sweep, liquidity run, and liquidity bounce. Okay, I don't have time to, uh, cover those things, but let me point out something very, very interesting. 
any time there is a strong bias, look at institutions are taking those liquidities. Any time there is a strong buyer taking the liquidity, look at where the market goes. Always, always hunting for liquidity. Okay, so if that confluence with the supply and demand, that that is a much effective trade. Okay, so that's why I say look at the level two codes. Most of you don't have level two codes. Ninja Trader offers that as separate package, but our indicator converts that streaming fast data into visual form where you can see the liquidity. This is for NQ. NQ this is a little bit different, but this, in this chart, I wanted to show one particular thing. Look at the persistent uh, liquidity. Anytime the line stays the whole day, that's a persistent. That means, look at it. Anytime the price, even though it's like a little bit choppy, look at where the market goes and stops every time. Market goes, stops at this liquidity, persistent. There's nothing here. Next one, persistent. Persistent. Market always hunting towards the liquidity. After this liquidity, there's nothing here. What happened? Market reversed because there's a lot of liquidity on this side. That's what I'm saying. Because once you try to master the supply and demand in conjunction with order flow, both active, but I would recommend the passive much more important because that's the order waiting. You can see in level two codes waiting to be executed. Okay. So long story short, there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of data moving around. That's why in terms of we trained our traders in um, supply and demand for since almost 2015. But last year we did something different. Instead of trading and training uh, how, to, uh, how to trade the supply, how to wait for the breakout, what is the consolidations, and then what is the retest, what is the confirmation, we developed something putting those all the rules inside the indicator so not only you will see the strong supply, strong demand, you'll also see when it breaks out, it'll give you okay the clear audible signal when there is opportunity to trade. Okay, so uh, that's what we call it as BSG zones entry signals with the clear supply and demand based order flow data. You're gonna have the clear zones. It's gonna give you three two things. It's gonna give you the signals for the entry. Is also is gonna give you the suggested stop loss levels where you can uh, use the stop loss. We use our system on a price um, price based chart, not on a time based chart. I, I, anytime you can see the, you will see the red, green, and the yellow arrows. The yellow arrows are the trading signals. Anytime you see the up yellow arrows, long signal. Anytime you can see the uh, down uh, yellow arrows, there are those are. Um, short signals and also the base of those signals is a stop loss if i'm going long here i need to have the stop loss before below this particular bottom edge if i'm going short i need to have the stop loss before okay any questions so far okay i don't see anything let me move along i think um, i don't want to miss my time all right so there is a lot of ways to enter but uh, there are few things we can just rely on and in terms of break and swap or just to break and retest and then higher and high, higher lows. All the algorithms are built in in the particular uh, uh, um, setup, which includes the price action chart, which includes the supply and demand zones and then the signals. Okay, that's why um, this is comes together as a full bundle in terms of the way we offer the price action charts and then the supply and demand zones and then the entry signals like i mentioned the yellow triangles are the signals bottom of that zone is the stop goes same thing river down arrow is a short signal that we talked about already okay i think i have few minutes time let me cover what not to do the risk based quickly all right let me go back right here okay this is a better example we gave you signal and then we also try to mark the rectangle because we want to give you the suggested stop loss right so we all we always tell them place a couple of ticks below not exactly on the edge because sometimes there's the liquidity sweep in there now i want you to understand one thing in 
most of the traders make one single mistake, which is when the mice when the price moves fast, most of the beginner traders chase the entry, they enter the trade, and then always place the stop loss few ticks below the entry. Right? I mean that's what that's what we do. Right. So in terms of uh, you enter and then you oh I'm gonna put like uh, 20 tick stops or like 15 tick stops where you enter. The problem is how well do you know that stop loss is effective, right? That's a disaster way of getting stopped very, very fast. But instead, what we tell the traders is that you need to know where the stop loss would go. What is a stop loss? A price where your theory is wrong. If you are going long, you need to know which is the exact price line below that is no more a uh, long long trade okay so if you know that point try to take the trade closer to the uh, stop loss entry that means you need to decide the stop loss where you supposed to go and then take the trade closer to it that's why there is a saying stop loss needs to go where the stop loss should go you should not put your stop loss based on where you enter okay so um, that's what we do not enter the trade and add the stop loss there. Instead, determine a solid stop loss level and then try to wait the price comes to that level and then enter the trade and then again stop loss should go where the stop loss should go. Okay. Um, we talked about a little bit. So let's look at what do I mean by that. So in, in this in this case, um, let's look at the bottom this particular one. Anytime they say, uh, if you're taking it long, the bottom edge is your stop loss. That means if, uh, if you determine that is your stop loss, you cannot have a stop loss anywhere. That means you have to wait till price comes a little bit closer and bounce so that you can enter. Let's say you have this, this signal, you have the signal, price moved up, you are here. If you're taking the trade here, you're gonna keep the stop loss here. What's gonna happen? You're gonna get stopped out. That's what we are saying in terms of always try to know what is a, a reliable stop loss or a failure point, then you can take it. Anyway, so in short, we put together not only the, the indicators for a, with a, on a price action chart, we also have a detailed training program to, uh, to teach you in terms of how supply and demand works, how you can trade, what it means to have a stop loss, trading everything together. Uh, so it includes uh, the one the strategy I talked about, break and retest, break and swap, high highs and higher lows. Also, risk-based trading approach. Do not take the trade uh, anywhere. Take it where closer to the suggested stop loss level so that you can have a little bit um, dependable stop loss levels. Okay. That This system we introduced back in like almost like a November last year. Guys, you can uh, check out our uh, in um, Trustpilot as well as our, our website. There's a lot of reviews from the actual customers. They have been using our system. When I say system, I'm not saying indicator. People think about indicator. No, indicators, chart setups and settings, much more important. You can buy the most expensive tool, but if you don't know how to use it, it doesn't really matter, right? So that's why our training is our biggest strength. We train um, our, a lot of people charge the courses, the strategies, expense, but we offer them at a, um, as a bundle together. The reason is that not only you have all the tools to you, also you need to learn how to use it effectively. So there's a lot of customers who've been there for us since we launched. Um, you can, I don't want to say anything, but you should um, customers testimonials. Again, please. All right, so I'm trying to rush because I wanted to show something in the live chat if a time permits. Um, did I answer anything? Did I miss any questions here? Let me see. All right, so what is the red triangle? What is the red triangle on top? So in the chart, you will see red triangle, green triangle, and yellow triangles, right? So um, if you, green triangle means a strong demand, that's not a signal. Red triangle means strong supply, that is not a signal. Only the yellow triangles 
are the signals. Up yellow triangle is a long signal, down uh, yellow triangle is a short signal. But why do we still paint red tri uh, red zones and green zones? You need to know what are the where are the uh, strongest su supply or demand. Why? If you are in a long trade, you need to know price is going closer towards the strongest supply. That means <coughs> you better have a target there, exit rather than you need to know where the target should be. That's why you should be aware of the upcoming strongest supply or the nearest strongest demand. You need to know. So those are meant for your trade management, but red and green are not um, trading signals. Um, can you use it on Forex? Yes, you can use it on Forex. You can use it on uh, futures. Although 95% of our customers use for, uh, use for futures, primarily NQ, ES, and crude. <coughs> All right, so... And then you don't need a level two for our um, launch pad bundle, the supply and demand signals, custom chart now. But I'm going to, uh, you need level two quotes only for the one product liquidity zones. If you want to see the level two data in a better view, only that product you know. But the bundle I'm showing here, which includes the signals, which includes the supply and demand zones, price action chart levels, you don't need it. So you, you don't need a level two um, uh, quotes for those things excuse me so the bundle for, for the way we priced it um, is 129 dollars per month or you, you can get it for like a, a 1290 per year but for the attendees here you can use the ninja code um, discount code ninja trader um, you can get the discount for the only for the first uh, under customers and not only that if we are going for annual uh, annual subscription we wanted to give you uh, two extra bonus, um, the, um, which includes the trading stop. That's the best way to manage your trade trail when the price is moving. And the most important one, the liquidity zones. I showed you the how better way to see the real time um, passive out of flow data in terms of liquidity in the market. So converting the DOM liquidity, liquidity data into a in a chart where you can see as a confluence for the supply and demand. We wanted to give you uh, anyone who is purchasing the annual subscription. So which is trading stop is it can track the prices so that you can have the uh, trailing for the trade management. But this is the liquidity zones indicator to convert the level two quotes. Of course, you need to have level two quotes, data subscription if you want to use this indicator. But it's going to give you much better visual representation. But if you look at the actual data, if I try to plot all the level data, it will be too noisy. But our algorithm is going to give you uh, only the important liquidity that you need to focus on. If you look at, um, I'm not sure whether I showed the chart a little bit back. Let me go back a little bit, all the way back. I want to show you if, if you don't, the difference between um, any other uh, book map or anything, liquidity data, you can't see anything. If you try to plot everything in here, all the um, bid ask on the chart, there is no clarity. You can't make any decision on those things. That's why we spent enough time to create the liquidity data, ignore all the information, show only uh, what matters, what matters, so that you can trade based on those things. Okay, so this is included both these two indicators, 90 days free access if you purchase a subscription. Okay. Um, again, this information is not on the website. I would recommend take your phone, take a picture uh, in terms of the discount code, uh, Ninja Trader, and then you can get the 25% off on the either on the, if you are choosing monthly, you'll get the 25% on, on the first month. If you are choosing annual subscription, um, you'll get the discount on the first year. Also, you get the two bonus 90-day uh, access for the two indicators that we talked about. Okay, I'm gonna stay in there. Take a, take your, pull out your phone, take a picture. Also, I can send the same thing. Um, one second, I'll paste that in the chat as well. Any questions, anything that I missed, anything that you guys have um, that I can answer? Can you guys hear me? I think I got disconnected and then connected again. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. 
Uh, can you show the today's market? You know what? I have few minutes time. Why don't I show that one? And that will give a lot of confidence to you guys. Thomas, I'm going to stop the presentation. I just wanted to jump to the today's market. Okay, so can I close the slide? I think uh, take a picture. The link, this link is not in the website. You need to go to bicepglobal.com slash offer and then the discount code. Take a picture before you lose information. All right, so let me in this slide. Okay, so can everybody see my screens with the chart? Can somebody say yes, no? All right. All right, perfect. So we talked about the two different things today. Supply and demand, look for the strongest to supply and then wait for the breakout and then swapping. So let me open up today's chart. This is NQ, okay? I'm going to open up two different charts. One is a liquidity chart here, but let's go to the NQ chart first. Again, these triangles are the trading signals in terms of whether you can see from the day started, at least the day started almost here. You can see that when the market reversing, it is looking for the breakout structures. These are signals, yellow mark, anything marked yellow are signals, all right? So anything marked yellow as signals, it's waiting for those opportunities. But the reason I wanted to show you is that moment the sub the demand becomes supply it's giving the signal look at why it's important to have the stop loss here i mentioned um, stop loss based entry if you have if you enter anywhere here stop loss here you're going to get stopped out that's why stop loss based entry you need to have the stop loss before because market tend to come back there also not only that i want you to notice how when the market is down, it's giving the signals down. When the market is about to shift, you can see how much you can give the signals on the other side. And also look at the power of the level. It's suggesting the stop loss below this edge. Price came back too close. It did not break. Okay. So it, and also I wanted to show you a little bit on the liquidity zones indicator. Uh, I, I mentioned one thing supply becomes demand or a demand becomes supply is a good opportunity look at look at if you look at the actual this is a level two data okay if you don't have a level two data this indicator won't work for you but i want you to look at in terms of look at the persistent persistent demand came liquidity so but if you look at this demand broken and then it became the supply look at what happened Again, the demand, the supply, persistent supply. When I say persistent, it stays there in the in the code for a long time. There are some liquidity comes and goes, comes and goes. Those are like a, a very fast, ignore those things. Look for only the ones persistent. Anytime you see the persistent demand broken and then persistent supply starts, that's a great opportunity. Here, here. And then here, that's why you look at confluence between supply and demand and then the level two data. Okay, let's look at uh, crude. Let's look at crude, uh, same way in terms of, we can also look at the market shifting down, how much it's supporting the supply. Let's look at the level two also. Here is a lot of liquidity, but uh, in terms of, I want to look at one particular place where do you see that the liquid is so much higher concentration here? The demand is so much higher in terms of here, when price pushed back up, pushed back, when it finally broke, it, it retested the same place, break and swap, same thing. So the demand becomes supply, supply becomes demand. We'll cover all those things in the video uh, that I'm going to produce anyway, but I just want to show you quickly before the time runs out. I know I'm running a little bit behind, but I just want to cover a little bit. All right, again, I told you the, the strategy that I taught you, the consolidation, the supply was broken, opposite zone is forming, right? So that's when the market is shifting lower. And then every time there is a shift happens, highs and higher lows is gonna mark everything. 
let's look at the uh, liquidity zones for the same indicator same thing you can see the demand persistent and then become the supply say same, same kind of fashion and then when the market slows down it's about to reverse you can see how much the buyers interest coming in there's not buyer interest much here but when the market is about to reverse you can see how much the persistent buyers start coming in all right so thomas i think um i'm mean, running out of time how i'm doing with the time we want to wrap up on uh, one or two last questions all right is there any questions i think i'm done with the presentation i just wanted to um, um answer any last question that you guys may have or entry on the signals probers yes you can enter the signal probers we'll cover those things I, I don't have time to cover that but um it's all covered in the indicators as well as the trainings in-depth training that we're going to power access to and then how many signals so many signals yes we have filtration systems that what we're going to cover in the training program um, how does the software calculate supply and demand? That's algorithm. We cannot talk about the algorithm. Uh, is there anything else I missed out? I think I covered the questions, whatever I can cover, um, um, Thomas. Th thank you, guys. Thank you for the time. Please uh, take your um, take the picture of this last slide where you have access to the link discount code and then the offer also the contact information if you have any uh, questions please reach out to us um, i'll be happy to help you guys have a great day thank you thomas thank you for the opportunity all right well, i want to thank again to rob for taking the time to share with if you enjoyed today's session you hope you will join us in future webinars follow us on social media for alerts about upcoming events and other Ninja ecosystem news, we would like to remind you that the information provided was that of BuySide Global and not of Ninja All information was for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us here at the Ninja Trader ecosystem.